This is World Beat Live, and we had a exhibit, a child's view of Gaza. I have Susan Johnson right here that's been to Gaza and brought these paintings back. Susan, were you scared going to Gaza? You were saying that you were with Jews, you were with different people. How did you decide to go there? Well, I wasn't afraid. Um, I was um, signed up for a trip that was going on May 24th, last, last year we left. And um, there were 13 of us from all kinds of different backgrounds. And we were just going to see the damage, see what was done firsthand and also um, focus on children's activities, how the children were affected, what they were doing, how they were doing. Uh, they have very blank faces on them for the most part. Uh, traumatized, put it that way. So It's almost like, I say for African Americans, we have post-traumatic slave syndrome. And it takes a long time for that trauma to leave. Um, the Jewish people that were here tonight, they say there's another side to this. Um, yes, there is another side. And I'm often asked, well, why aren't you talking about the other side? And my feeling on that is if you turn on the television, read the newspaper, pick up a magazine, the other side story is always there somewhere. So how can we bring these two nations together? Because no one wins in war. No. Well, I think um, it's very difficult. And I really think probably starting with the children, as Gandhi said, that may be the best route to go. It may take us longer. <laughs> but the children are our future. And they are not raised, they're not born prejudice. They're not born hating. They learn these things, then they learn them from someone around them for the most part. Um, getting children together from, say, a village in the West Bank and a village in Israel so that they interact on a regular basis, you know, it's Wednesday, we're gonna to get together with our, our group. Um, I think that you, you, they naturally are fine with each other, I think, if they're young enough. But I think that you, once you play with someone and get to know them, uh, you're usually surprised that there's really not that much difference. Um, my feeling is you start, you look for the similarities between yourself and the other person rather than the differences. And the more you look at the similarities and the more you get to know each other, you have much more in common than you ever thought that you did. So that's an, you know, an approach that uh, could be taken. And we'll work on that with the exhibit with the Israeli children and uh, we'll bring them to another level, you know, a level of peace, what they would like to see, what peace they would like to see. Yeah. And we'll get ready for this new time, this new, this new millennium, this new beginning. Right. Where we're going Certainly into. We need a new beginning. Well, this is beginning. what this time is I'm, going into. You're my inspiring God. me. You're, my mind is just racing with ideas does this. <laughs> That's really wonderful. That's why you are who you are today. Yeah. Now is the time. It's the time of the return of the ancestors. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, we will be assisted, you know, into this age of peace. I, that, I want that for my grandchildren. Oh my goodness. And now I've got these little great grandchildren. And I just have to do anything I can to work towards a peaceful world for them. I don't want them having to go through um, wars, uh, even if they don't go through wars, there's so much tension and energy put into 
negative stuff, and that leaves you with less to put into positive. No one wins in war, you know, and, and so we, what we have to do is teach the children, like you were saying, because they're taught hate, and we teach the children that all of us are interconnected, and once we show that we're one, and like you said, I look really forward to see the children's view of peace. Okay, that you're on. We'll send, we'll have those Israeli and Palestinian children drawing pictures about what do they see as peace. Thank you so much. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, I know. <laughs> shalom. 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 Peace, I guess it's, it's, it's peace, and yeah. it's the same. Israeli. It's the same. May peace be with you. Yes. So they all talk about peace. So now we have to live peace. Absolutely. Peace begins with us, and may peace prevail this earth. I'm Makeda Dredd, and with Susan, and we have a great project. This is World Beat Live from the World Beat Cultural Center with a great exhibit: the children's view of Gaza. Now look for the children of Israel and Palestine. View of peace. One love. One people. One destiny. Liberation for people all over this planet. Bless our children.